Prince Harry and Meghan Markle, the royal couple now known as the Duke and Duchess of Sussex, are heading down under this fall. It's hard to deny the romantic allure of Fiji. The couple have been invited to visit Australia and New Zealand by the country's governments, while the pair will visit Fiji and Tonga at the request of the Foreign and Commonwealth Office, Kensington Palace Sunday night. As the Evening Standard points out, this trip follows in the footsteps of Harry's parents, the Prince of Wales and Diana, whose first royal tour as a married couple was also to Australia and New Zealand. The trip is set to coincide with the Invictus Games in Sydney, which are scheduled for October 20-27. The Games are important to Prince Harry, as he created the Paralympic-style sporting event as a way to recognize soldiers who have been wounded. In addition to being in line for the throne of England, Harry is a military veteran who served in Afghanistan. Prince Harry and Meghan Markle notably made their first public appearance as a couple. They watched a match of wheelchair tennis while photographers ignored the action on the court to snap photos of the newly confirmed pair. For 2020, they are expecting as many as 19 countries to field teams across events like archery, wheelchair rugby and paratriathlon.